Acts 5 and uh, 13. All right? Give me the book of Acts chapter 5 and 13. Book of Acts chapter 5 and 13. This is why precept must be a part of precept. Because you take one scripture. All right, we got you. But that's why precept must be a part of precept. Because you can take them little scriptures that you know, but you don't have precept to get the understanding. That's why we go to scriptures and it contradicts in what you may have believed. That's right. And that's why a lot of our people stop believing in the Bible. Because it sounds like it contradicts itself. But the Lord told you you must be precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Right. The word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. The word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. I go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. These things that certain things you read are only applies to the Israelites. Right. It's not talking about everybody. Right. Okay. It's not talking about everybody. Right. Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear the Lord your God observe to do all the words of this law. Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates. And thy stranger that is within thy gates. These things that certain things you read are only applies to the Israelites. Right. It's not talking about everybody. Right. 